Begin the Gemara today on Davtes, the Mishnah, the second Mishnah. So this Mishnah actually will continue the halachas that the previous Mishnah finished off with, which is the halacha of a yad by a neder. Again, the idea of a yad by a neder is when you say an incomplete statement, so we learn from a Pasik that the neder still takes effect. We had before our discussion of the Gemara, does it have to be very clear, a Yad Mechiach, or a Yad that's not 100% clear, but it's still, we have an indication what he meant. Either way, there's that concept of a Yad, and here this Mishnah gives another example for a Yad, when it works and when it does not work. Zok Te'elige Mishnah, Kenidrei Rishoyim. A person says that I'm making a nether like the way Rishoyim make a nether. And Nodar, he makes this nether Benazir, regarding becoming a Nazir. Or Bekarbin, he says this expression, Kenidre Rishoyim, regarding dedicating an animal for a carbon. Ubishvue, or he uses this expression, Kenidre Rishoyim, regarding taking an oath not to eat something, and so on. So then, the, uh, the nether will take effect. Now, this mission is written very Bekitzer, and it's very difficult to understand what this means. What does this mean, Nidre Rishoyim? So the Pshat over here is that it's the derech of the Rishoyim to make Nedarim. The derech of tzaddikim, or kshedim, as the Mishnah will say, is not to make nedarim. Because a person doesn't know if he'll have the ability to keep the nether, and therefore the derech is like the halach action A person should always say, Beli nether, we don't make nedarim. Mm-hmm. Right? So when a person says that I'm making a nether like the rishayim, so that's something which it means something. Because yeah, it is the derech of rishayim to make a nether. That's one point. Another point is, when a person says, Kenidre Rishayim, how in the world is he going to become a Nazir? So as we'll see soon in the Gemara, the Gemara will explain, he said, Hareini Kenidre Rishayim. And there's a Nazir that's walking right in front of him as he says that. So it's clear that even though he didn't clearly say to be a Nazir, but because the Nazir was walking right in front of him and he said the words, Hareini Kenidre Rishayim, he meant like this Nazir. And the same thing regarding the carbon. When he said carbon, he, was say, he said, Kenidre Rishayim Alai. I accept upon myself these nidarim of Rishayim. And it's interesting, even regarding a carbon, it's not the derech of kshedim to make a neder regarding a carbon. As the Gemara will explain how people, kosher yidin, donate a carbon in a different way, not, not, not in the way of a neder. So again, by the carbon, the case is that there's an animal that's right in front of him, and he's saying, nidar Rishayim, a lie. Or regarding the shvua, there's a loaf of bread right in front of him, and he says, Shvua hey menu. I make a shvua from this loaf of bread. So, so we'll see this all in the Gemara, but just you see, you see the words of the Mishnah, is, it's, it's missing a lot, so I'm just spelling this out. That's the pshat of, when, of, of what it means, that this is still an incomplete statement. He didn't clearly say I'm going to be a Nazir, or clearly say the word carbon, or clearly say the word asa regarding the piece of bread, but still this is a yad and it takes effect. However, Kenidrek Shadim, if a person says the same thing, like I just described before, the Naz is walking in front of him and so on, but he uses the term Kenidrek Shadim, that I'm making a nether like Kosher Yidin, like upstanding Yidin make a nether. So then, Loya Maklomi, it doesn't take effect because Yidin that are Kshadim do not make Nedarim. So, this, so this, it's, not, it's not true. So they, what he says is not true. But if he uses a different term regarding Kshadim, Instead of saying nidrei kshedim, he says kinidvaisam. He says kinidvei kshedim. And again, he says it properly. He says kinidvas kshedim a lie, or he says hareini kinidvas kshedim, and there's another walking in front of him, but he uses a different term. Not nineder, but a term of an adava. So then, nodar ben nazir or bekarbon. If he says this regarding a nether for to be a nazir and for a carbon, so then it's a nether. The nether will take effect for, for a nazir and for a carbon. So now the Ran explains what's this concept, what's the difference between a neder or the term of an adava. So regarding a carbon, it always says that the difference between a neder and an adava is that when you say a neder, what you say is a lie. You take the responsibility upon yourself, which means even if you lose this animal that you were going to bring for a carbon, you still have an obligation to bring a different animal because you took the obligation upon yourself. What is an adava? An adava is when you say harei zu oila. This animal should be a oila. So if this animal is here, you have to bring it. If, you, if it's not here, you don't have the responsibility. So then I, I, I wasn't menad of anything else. That's regarding a carbon. But the Rana asks, what, regarding a nazir, what's the difference between a nether and an adava? It's basically the same thing. A person says, I make a nether to be a nazir, or a person says, I donate myself to be a nazir. If they both, the nazir takes effect in the same way. So the Ran says it's true, the Nizidis does take effect in the same way, but the difference is the attitude of where it's coming from, what the person is saying. When a person says a neder, he's not saying it with full goodwill. 
He's saying it because he feels pressure or whatever, whatever frustration he's going through and it causes a person to, to take this extreme nether to become a Nazar. But it's not coming from a very strong and good place. When a person says Nedove, a Nedove means that he's calm and he's happy and it's coming with goodwill, that he's donating it with happiness. Nedove, that, that's the idea of a Nedove. That's how a Yid that's kosher makes a, a nether through the term Nedove, which means it's a different attitude of a nether really. And the Ran actually says an interesting thing. This, this idea, the difference between the nether and the dava is really also the source of the difference by a carbon. By a carbon, when a person says hareizu, so he's saying that this animal should be a, a, a carbon. Why is he saying hareizu? But because he's happy to give this carbon, he's ready to dedicate this animal right in front of him to the He says right away, this animal should be hektish. When a person says hare a lie, so even though it looks like he's taking a stronger responsibility upon himself, because if this animal gets lost, he's going to have to bring another animal. But really what's happening is, he's not ready to dedicate this animal in front of him for the carbon. So therefore he says, are they a lie? But the animal that's in front of him, he's, it's not coming with good will, so he's not ready to dedicate it yet. That's really the source of the difference between a neder and a nedava. That's the pshat in the Mishnah. Okay, so as I said, the Gemara is going to explain, since the Mishnah is so bekitzer, the Gemara is going to explain what did the person actually say. If you're going to read the Mishnah literally, all he said was, So, why, why shouldn't we say? Maybe this is what the person meant. He's saying, like the Nedarim of the Nedarim, because they're Nedarim, I don't want to make a Nedar like them. How, how do you know that he's Bechlal accepting upon himself any Nedar? Regarding to be a Nazir, or a Karbin, or a Shvua. He, he didn't say, uh, but Rishayim shows he doesn't want to do this. Um, Shmuel, so Shmuel answers, we have to add over here, what the person said is, but then he add, added one of these three words. Either he added the word, hareini, he said, or he said, or he added the word, and he said, I'm making a shvua, I take an oath from this. And the Gemara spells out what this means. Hareini, he adds the word Hareini b'Niziris. If it's speaking about a case of Niziris, he says Hareini kinidre d'Shaim. A lie, the carbon. If it's a case of a carbon, he said a lie. I take upon myself to bring this carbon. And hey manu b'Shvua. If it's a case of a Shvua, he said I, I take an oath from it. Hey manu from it. Frakta Gemara. But still, it doesn't explain how we know that the person means to actually be a Nazir. Nizidos, when a person said Hareini Knidre Rishayim, so what do we say? That we say he means to be a Nazir. How do you know Nizidos? Dilma Hareini Betainis Kalmar. Even if he's taking something upon himself, Hareini I am. He's saying I should be. Maybe he's saying I should be in a fast for today. How do you know? It means a Nazir. Amashmul, so Shmuel answers. The case is, Keshahaya Nazir Evelafanov. As he said, Hareini Knidre Rishayim, there's a Nazir that's walking right in front of him. So we know that he means like this, that like this Nazir that's walking in front of him. So the Gemara now asks a similar question regarding the Shavua. Heimenu b'Shavua. When a person says Heimenu b'Shavua, so how do you know he means that he's not going to eat this loaf of bread that's in front of him? Dilme Heimenu da'chil nakama. Maybe he means to say that I'm taking a Shavua that I will eat this. How do you know he's making a Shavua that he will not eat it? Omar Rave, Rave says, the Omar, so regarding the Shavu, you're going to have to say that he actually adds and says, Heimenu shaloy oichal. Hareini anai. So he said, Kenidre Rishayim shvua shaloy oichal. Heimenu. So he basically said a pretty uh, full statement of here of what his intention is. Mm-hmm. So if he actually spelled out and said, Shaloy oichal, yochi maile memre, what's the Chiddush of the Mishnah? This is not what's called a Yad. This is, this is a full statement. It's not, it's not just a handle of the words that he says. And says the Gemara, no, it is not full. Because Ma'o de Teime, I would think to say, Holimapik shvua mipume. The case of here is, he actually didn't say the word shvua. He said, Nidre Rishoyim, Heimenu, Shaloy Oichal. But he didn't use the term shvua. He didn't say the word shvua. So because he didn't actually spell out the word shvua mipume from his mouth, so I would think that it's not, it can't be a shvua without actually saying the word shvua. Kamash Malon, that's the Chiddush of the Mishnah, or, uh, or we have here in Agamara, we have the Girsa, Kamash Malon Hadain, that's the Chiddush of this case in the Mishnah, that it takes effect without spelling out the word Shvua. This is, a, like I said, another example of a Yad for a Shvua. So I'm taking out the word Hadain. This is, again, this is Mesech Tenedarim, where you have unusual expressions. Kamash Malon Hadain, this case of the Mishnah teaches me this. Okay, the next case of the Mishnah, it said that there's a difference regarding Yidin, which are Kshedim, there's a difference between the expression of a neder or nedava, because kosher yidin do not make nedarim, but they do say the term of a nedava. They will, they will donate a nedava. 
So what's the difference? Knidreg Shayrim Loy Amaklom and can advise some nadar v'chulu, but if he says like an adav of the kshedim, so then that nadar is, is that does take effect because people that are kosher will make an adava. So first, the Gemara brings actually from a b'raise that we we see l'chayre that our Mishnah does not follow any of the opinions of this b'raise. Why? Because man tana, who's the tana of our Mishnah, the shani lay, which makes a distinction between nadar and adava, between a nadar or an adava. Lay mish, we say loy rab meiv or loy rab yude. The Tanya of our Mishnah is not Rab Meir and not Rab Yude. The Tanya we learned in Abraisa. As a Pasik in Kehelas, it says, Toiva Shaloi Tidr Vegaime. It's better that you should not make a nether. Now, in order to understand this Gemara, you have to see the full Pasik. You have it here on the side of the Gemara. So the Pasik first actually says that Esa Shetidr, you see, it's, it's the Pasik begins with Kashetidr Nether, but if you look at the end of the first Pasik here, it says, Kashetidr, Esa Shetidr Teshalem. Shalem. When you make a nether, make sure to keep your nether. That's the first point the Pasik says. Second point the Pasik says is, which is quoted here in the Gemara, Toiv, I'm reading from, you have it quoted here on the side of this, at least in this Gemara, I don't know if all the Gemara say they bring the Pasik, huh? they bring the whole Pasik. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Then afterwards the Pasik says, Toiv ashaloi tider mishetider. Again, Toiv ashaloi tider. Toiv ashaloi tider. Better do not make any nether in the first place. And then the third point the Pasik says is, Mishetidr v'loy shalom. Then to make a nether and you do not keep your nether. So if you look here in the Pasik, it speaks about three different scenarios. In the beginning of the Pasik, it speaks about a person that makes a nether and keeps his nether. Then the Pasik it says, better do not make a nether. Then the third thing the Pasik says is, it better than making a nether and keeping your nether. So now the question is, what does it mean when it says, toiv v'loy tider? that it's better that you should not make a nether. Does the Pasuk mean to say that it's better not to make a nether than a person that makes a nether and does not keep it? But a person that makes a nether and does keep it, that may actually even be better than a person that does not make a nether at all. Because if you make a nether, so then, and you're keeping it, so that is even better. You made a nether, and you keep your nether, so you, so you could be making a nether for a carbon or for something else, and that's actually a positive thing. Or maybe the way to read the Pasuk is that when it says, it's saying that it's better not to make a nether, and that's actually even better than a person that makes a nether and keeps it. Yeah, that's the Machlaikas here. Let's see in the words of the Gemara. This price is very bekitzer. So again, the Tanya, the Vraisa says, Toiva shaloi tider ve So when it says that it's better not to make a nether, it's better than what? So Rabbi Yehudis, Rameya, this is the Tanya Kamer, Rameya says, Toiv mize o mize, better than both other scenarios that are mentioned in the Pasik, which is a person that makes a nether and keeps it, and a person that makes a nether and does not keep it, what's better than both of them? She'en enoi de kolikr, do not make a nether at all. Because when you don't make a nether at all, you don't get into a problem that you might not keep it. So even a person that made a nether and ended up keeping it, but he, he put himself in a risky situation that he may not keep it. So it's better not to make a nether at all. That's what Rabbi Meir says. Divrei Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Yudai Meir, Rabbi Yudai says, the way to understand the Pasuk is, Toiv Mizeh O Mizeh, what's actually better than both is Neider O Mishalem. The best is to make a nether and keep it. Because when you make a nether and keep it, you actually have a mitzvah. Elamai Ayat says in the Pasuk, Toiv Shaloi Tider, better not to make a nether. All the Pasuk meant is, Better not to make a nether than a person that makes a nether and does not keep it. But if you do keep it, that's actually even better. I what's the chiddush of the pasuk? Obviously, it's better to make a nether than to make a nether and you do, and you do not keep it. So the Ran explains the chiddush over here is when a person makes a nether and doesn't keep it, he doesn't intend lachatchila not to keep it. He's going to try to keep it. A person might think it's better to make a nether even though I'm not guaranteed that I will keep it. But he thinks to himself, maybe the actual making of the nether, when a person makes that nether, that, that itself is a mitzvah. A person makes a nether to, to bring a carbon, or makes a nether to, to refrain of, of, of eating or doing things to overindulge. Maybe the nether itself is a mitzvah. I, I don't know I'll be able to keep it. Maybe the nether itself is a possible thing. So the Pasuk is saying, no, the nether itself is nothing positive about the nether itself unless you could actually keep the nether. But if you can't keep the nether, so then the nether itself is nothing positive to it. So therefore, better don't make a nether. But if you're in a situation where you know that you could keep the nether, then you make a nether and you can keep it. So over here we see this machlaikis between Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Yehuda. What's better for so so the, this this is the discussion that's negate tar mishnah. We're speaking about kshedim yidin that are kosher. What's the best thing? Is the best thing not to make a nether, or is the best thing to make a nether and to keep it? So if so, the question is, 
In our Mishnah, the Mishnah makes a distinction between a neder and an adava, which is the attitude that you're making it with. Are you making it with goodwill, with not goodwill? So the Gemara understands right now that over here in this Braisabi, the Bachlai Kismir Rab Meir and Rabbi Yehuda, there's no difference between a neder and a dove. Rab Meir that says that it's better not to make a neder. So according to him, it's better not to make a neder with any attitude. Yes, with goodwill, without goodwill, makes no difference. It's better not to make a neder, period. And according to Rabbi Yehuda, it's actually better to make a neder if it's, if it's a about something that you know that you can keep, so it's better to make a nether and keep it. So the distinction between a nether and a dove seems to be a third opinion, which is not the opinion of Rav Meir and not the opinion of Rav Yehuda. That's the Gemara's question. That's says the Gemara. No, I feel the time with Rav Meir. I could say that our Mishnah does follow Rav Meir's opinion that says better not to make a nether. Because, ki ka'omer Rav Meir, when did Rav Meir say better not to make a nether? The nether. That's actually if you're making a nether, which is an attitude with, without goodwill. When a person is like, uh, for whatever reason, he's forced into it, or, or he's just in a situation where he's frustrated about something, so he makes a nether. Then Rav Meir says, don't make a nether. But benedava like kamar. If you're making a nether with goodwill in such a situation, Rav Meir doesn't make any distinction. But in the Lashon of our Mishnah, it doesn't seem so. Because in our Mishnah it says, If a person says that, I'm, that it's an adovel, like people that are kosher, so then nodar benazir ubekarben. So then this is a neder that takes effect for nizirus, if there's another walking in front of him, or for a carbon, if he has an animal in front of him. So the Mishnah uses the term noda, that even an adovel is the same like a neder. And we're saying that there's a huge difference between a neder and a nadava, but the Mishnah does use the term neder even regarding a nadava. And says the Gemara, you're right, you're going to have to switch the Lashon of the Mishnah. Tini, learn in the Mishnah, nadav benazir o bekarben. It's not a neder. A nadava is not a neder. It's a whole different thing. When a person says something out of goodwill, according, even according to the mayor, that's something which is positive, and therefore a person should make such a kind of a neder, and he knows he's, it's a nadava really, and he'll be able to keep it. Okay, but now the Gemara will explain this further. Because soft, soft, the question is, there's a, the, the idea why a person shouldn't make a nether is because we're concerned that he might not keep it. Even if a person makes a nether out of goodwill, and that's called a nadava, but isn't there still a concern that he may not be able to keep it? Mm-hmm. Circumstances could come up out of his control. Frek the Gemara, or carbon, so regarding a carbon. What's the difference? To make a nether, so you say the mayor says, don't make a nether, you may come to a takala. Something might come up and you will not be able to keep your nether. So the same thing should be, even if you're making a nether out of goodwill, but nevertheless, also you shouldn't be allowed to do this, or it should be better not to. Maybe something will come up and you will not be able to keep this nether as well. Answers the Gemara. No, there is a circumstance of an adava, a person that's bringing a carbon with goodwill, so he does it in the following way. Kehillel Azakin, he does like what Hillel Azakin said. The Tanya we learned in Abra Isa, Omru al Hillel Azakin. It was said regarding Hillel Azakin when he donated a carbon. What did he do? Shulemal Adam Ba'ilasai Kol Yomov. When Hillel would, would bring a carbon, there was no situation where anybody was moil. The concept of me'ila is when you misuse something that belongs to hektish. It never happened that someone misused an animal that was dedicated for a carbon when Hillel brought the carbon. Why not? Because what did he do? He brought the animal all the way till the azara, not inside the azara, but all the way till the azara when it was still chulin. He didn't yet dedicate it. Um, Magdisha, and then right there, when he's right outside the Azara, and now he knows that there's no Takala Karap, there's no circumstance which is going to stop him from bringing it. He's right there already, and everything is ready to go. Then he's Magdishit, and immediately the Saimachala, he would do Smicha and the Shaykhta, and he would Shaykhta it, and therefore then there's, there's no issue of any Takala. That's the kind of Nadava we're speaking about over here regarding carbon that our Mishnah says that this is the way the Kshayrim bring a carbon, and there's no issue. So now we understand the Pshat of the Mishnah, what the, what the Mishnah meant when it says that Rishayim make a nether for a carbon. What does this mean? Rishayim are making a nether for a carbon? Yeah, the Rishayim are doing it in a way that, it, uh, that the behemoth that's far away from the base of Mikdash could end up being, being misused, mi'ila, or you could end up not being able to bring it up as a carbon. That's, that's the way the people that don't know how to do it, that the Rishayim, that's how they did it. This is busy, man. <coughs> the way. Again? This is busy. This means it's right away. Yeah, exactly. So. It brings it right away. How is the Mila by a nether when he, it's, it's, not, it's not a hectic until he... If he only says Hare Alai, if he only says Hare Alai, so so Anachanami, that Prat, but by the Hare Alai, the issue is not Mila, you're right? There won't be any issue of Mila, but there will be an issue that maybe the person himself won't make it. He won't be able to come. 
Frech the Gemara. Now, Hanich and Nedava the Karbanis. So we understand what the difference is between Neder and Nedava regarding Karbanis. But Nedava the Nezidis, Ma'ikel and Meima. What's unique about the Nedava of Nezidis that we say that there's a certain kind of Nedava regarding Nezidis that we're not afraid that the person won't keep it and it's a positive thing. If a person may not be able to keep his Nezidis when he says the term Neder, even if he does it with goodwill, won't it be possible that he won't be able to keep it? So the Gemara says, Savalo Kishimanat Sadik. The Tan of our Mishnah holds like what Shimonat Sadik says, there are certain situations of people that become a Nazir and they're a big tzaddikim and they're doing it for the right reason and we're not concerned that they won't be able to keep it. And he brings this a the story that happened. The Tanya says in the Omar Shimon Atzadik. Shimon Atzadik said he was a Kayan Godl in the Kayan, not Kayan Godl, but he was a Kayan in the Beis Hamikdash. Miyomai lo yachalti Asham Nazir Tomei. Whenever carbon Asham that was brought from a Nazir and he was Tomei, I never ate wanted to eat from that carbon. So the halacha of a Nazir is what happens. He's not one of the things of a Nazir, of course, is he's an inala to become Tomei. What happens if he becomes Tomei? So he has to wait seven days to be, to purify himself, and then he has to bring a carbon, and then he has to start his Naziris all over again. So if he brings the, this, uh, so, so Shimon Atzalik says that the people that brought the Asham Nazir and the Beis Hamikdash, they didn't want to eat from this carbon Asham. Kamar will soon explain more why not. But he didn't want to eat from this Asham from any Tomei that was a Nazir. Elo echot. Only one individual that was a tzaddik. He was a nazir and he became tome and he brought the asham from that carbon I ate because pa machas ba adam echot nazim and adam. There was an individual that was a nazir that came from the south, very isif. And I saw this person shri yifei naim, beautiful eyes, v'toy v'roi, very good looking, v'kavtsaisov suduris loy taltalim, and he has beautiful, nice, long hair. Amarti loy. So I said to him, beni my son, mare isal ahashches asarcha. Zeh, Hanoi. What did you see that you're going to destroy and get rid of your beautiful hair? When a person becomes a Nazir, so first, when you're, while you're a Nazir, you're not allowed to cut your hair. But then at the completion of Naziris, you have to shave all your hair off. So why did you do this? Mm-hmm. Amali, so this person answered him. He said to him, Roye hayisi laba. I was a shepherd for my father, Be'iri in my city. Halachti lamalas ma'im and ma'im. One time I went to fill up water from, this water from the spring. Vinistakalti babuashali. And when I filled up the water, I looked into my image that was in the water. And what happened? He saw how beautiful he is. My Yitzhara got excited. It jumped up at me. It wanted to get me out of this world. Meaning it wanted to schlep me into the Taivas of Elam Haza because of how beautiful I am. I said to the Yitzhara, Russia, Loma Atom is go. Why, Russia? Why are you so haughty? Why do you have gaiva and feel so good about your your good looks? But Olam Shein Shlcha in a world that's not even your world, Bchalal. Be me, Shuhu Asid Lies Rima Viteleya, and you're an individual that in the future you will become Rima Viteleya. You'll be buried and you'll be Rima Viteleya. You'll go back to dust. So he wanted, so he wanted to get rid of this Yeh Sahara, and therefore, what did he do? He made a shvua of Nizirus. He said, "Ho'aveda." This is a term that's used in the Gemara many times for a shvua. When a person says, "I swear" or "I dedicate myself" in the name of the Aveda done in the base of Mikdash, mm-hmm. that I will cut, I will, I will uh, shave all this hair for the sake of heaven, which is by becoming a nazir. So, so why did this person become a Nazir? Because he didn't want to fall into the Taivas of the world. <laughs> That's this Nazir here that Shimon Atzadik said that his Naziris is, is with the right, for the right reason. And he's a, this is a Naziris that we're not concerned about the fact that he's not going to keep it. And Miyad, Amaditi, Shimon Atzadik says, immediately I got up, and I kissed him on his head. I said him, Bini, my son, Kamoicha, Yirbun, Nazir, Naziris, Bi Yisrael. Uh, like you, there should be many people that, sh- in this situation, that, that they're saving themselves from the Taivas of Elam Azah, should make Naziris amongst the Eden. Alech HaKasavim, it's regarding you that the Taita intended this whole concept of Naziris. Regarding you, the Pasuk says, Ish ki yafli lindu neza nazi lahazal Hashem. That you accept upon yourself the Naziris for the Eibishter. Hmm. Okay, so here, so the point the Gemara is saying is, Shimon Atzadik is teaching us that yet usually a person accepts upon himself Naziris and it's not coming from a good place, hmm. so then he might not keep it. But a person that's saying it in this situation because he's trying to save himself from the Taifas of Elam Aze, so we, we accept it that he wants to keep it. And it's not a problem. But now the Gemara asks, what did it say here in this story? Shimon Atzadik did not want to eat from any carbon ashram that's being brought from a Nazir that became Tomei, only this one Nazir. Mask of Lord of Mani, so Rabmani asked the question, Maishno Asham Nazir Tomei 
Why is it that it's only the Asham of a Nazir that became Tomei, that he didn't want to eat from this Asham? Why? Because the Asi al Chet, because this carbon Asham is connected to an Aveda. The fact that a, usually, the fact that a person accepts upon himself Naziris is not a positive thing. It's, 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 it's a, considered to be an Aveda. We don't know if he can keep this Naziris, and it's, it's not a good thing for a person to usually accept upon himself Naziris. So therefore, he didn't want to accept this Asham. But if that's the reason, so then kol hashom is nami lelechol dal chet also. So you shouldn't be keeping, sorry, you shouldn't be eating from any carbon asham brought in the base of mikdash because it's also related to an aveda. Why only the asham of a nazir did he not want to eat? Amalei Rabbi Yaina said Rabbi Yaina answered Rabbi Mani. Heiner time. The reason is as follows: because kishehin toyin nazirin. What ha- what happens with a person that's a nazir? <laughs> a person that's a nazir. So even, not, not, not like this story that we just learned with this person that, that saw his beautiful hair. Kishen Tayin means a person falls very low and he does Avedis and then he's Tayin, so he's afraid of himself. He becomes very, very confused and afraid of himself and therefore he wants to take an extreme step to change and he takes an extreme step to become a Nazir. And then what happens? And then, you, when a person accepts upon himself Naziris, how long is Naziris? Stam Naziris is 30 days. Mm-hmm. And then what happens? He becomes Tomei. And now he has to wait seven days to be betayed himself. And then he has to redo the whole Naziris again. And now the Naziris lasts longer than he expected. <laughs> and then they regret accepting this Naziris upon themselves. Why? Because when they accepted the Naziris upon themselves, it came like in an extreme moment, which, which the Gemara calls Toyin. When they were like trying to make an extreme change, right? And therefore, what happens is v'nimsu mevi'in chulin lazada. So therefore, when they bring their carbon for this nizidus that they took upon themselves for the when they became tamei, it's almost like chulin lazada. This lashon of the gemara chulin lazada does not mean literally that the carbon that they bring is chulin, because the fact is he is a nazir. But because he really regrets his whole nizidus, so therefore the carbon that he's bringing for the tumah of his nizidus is like chulin lazada. This is the reason why Shimon HaTzadik said he didn't want to eat from these karbanas. A regular carbon asham that's being brought on Naveda that a Yid did and he's bringing the carbon asham to do tshuva, so he ate from that carbon. This carbon asham where we know that this Nazir didn't realize what he got himself into. He, he in an extreme moment, he took this Naziris upon himself and now this is dragging out longer than he expected and he doesn't even want this carbon, he's, but he's forced to bring it. So that's like Cholom Bazar, that's why he didn't want to eat from it. So why is this only, why is it saying this b'raisa only regarding this carbon of an asham that came from a nazar after he became tamei? That's the carbon he didn't want to eat from. We should say the same thing regarding any carbon that a nazar tar brings. When a nazar completes his nesiris after 30 days, he has to bring a chata, a oila, and a shlomim. So we should say this about the carbon of a nazar that's tar as well. He makes the nazar, the nesiris, the, the nether of nesiris, then after 30 days, it's dragging out and he's, he's not interested in it anymore. So we should say that this is true regarding every Nazir. And says the Gemara, no it's not, because Nazir Toy Loi. Over there we don't say that the person regrets this. Because the Amudi Ahmed Nafshay, even if he made it in an extreme moment, but still, 30 days, he's, he's estimating that he's able to handle it. The Yachal Linder, that he's able to, to accept this Nether. But if you hear this person that became Tame and now it drags out extra time, that's where the person gets frustrated and therefore it's like Cholom Bazare and therefore he didn't want to eat from this carbon besides this one person that he saw that he was so serious about this, he was so uh, dedicated to this and therefore from his carbon he ate.